going on guys? Rob at Liberty Scheme. Boy, I just have to make this video. Trump's tax returns have been released. Now, I am a former owner of a tax and accounting firm, and I'll tell you right now, he's in real estate and he owns businesses. Folks, anybody who thinks this is a bombshell is an absolute noob. Here's what I'm going to tell you. Because of depreciation and because of cost segregations and more depreciation, accelerated depreciation, nobody that owns buy and hold real estate hardly ever pays taxes. You know why? Because we provide tax advantages to people who get into agriculture, who get into building homes, building and developing buildings because we want them to actually do that, and people who provide jobs. So you have massive write-offs. And if you provide benefits within your, your employee, you get to write those off too. Um, so folks, here's what I want you to know. I'm going to show you a video by Mark Kohler that explains the basics of this. Here's the idea, guys. When you have buy and hold real estate, whether it's commercial or residential, whether it's the doggone Trump Tower or whatever it is, your your heart you get into that business so that you can offset almost all of your income because boy, you have just taken on this giant debt that you have to pay off. Not only that, it wears out every year. So what happens is because you're always replacing and it's always um, having problems, we do this thing called depreciation. So this is a simple depreciation example. Um, basically what this is, is this is cash flow and expenses on, on the left hand side where if it was just a regular deal. Um, and then over here is if you had buy and hold property that had depreciation. Now this is just a little example. Here's what I'll tell you. When, when you own massive buildings with huge air conditioning systems and, and, and super expensive elevators and things like that, I'm telling you, you get to fast forward and, and use bonus depreciation along with cost segregation studies to basically make sure that you don't get hammered in taxes. And, and uh, here's the bottom line is you have income that comes in and you have all your expenses and then you'd have your profit at the bottom, right? So here, this is showing, let's just say you had $12,000 in income. Then you have all of these little expenses, your debt payment, your property insurance, your all of the stuff. And here it shows you have a a $1,300 loss. Like that's pretty typical in real estate is actually to create losses. Now, if you add in what's called depreciation, which basically you take the amount of the building, the building's value out without the land and, and negating a couple other things. But let's just say you had a, a $300,000 commercial building, right? And you found out that the land is worth 80 grand and the rest is $220,000. You would take that $220,000 Divided by 27 and a half or 39 and a half for commercial building or residential building. And then each year you take that little increment and you get to write it off against your income. So in this case, without depreciation, they would have had like a $1,300 loss. Over here with depreciation, they're creating a paper loss of $4,500. Now, the whole goal of this is to, when you have the real estate profession, when you're a full time real estate professional, which Donald Trump is, what happens is you get to carry these losses and capture them and push them over against your regular income in other businesses. Basically what you do is you buy real estate and depreciate it and then when you're in that business, you get to use those losses. I guarantee you every single person that owns a commercial real estate building is shooting to do this exact same thing and he just has better accountants than everybody else. So I'm gonna play this clip by Mark Kohler, K-O-H-L-E-R, folks, I'm telling you. Um, this is common. By the way, if you go to theduplexdoctors.com or or just search how to do multifamily homes, uh, duplexes, triplexes, quads, you own an apartment building, you can take advantage of the same stuff that Donald Trump did just on a smaller scale. So let's just watch this real quick here. Because this is a business. A rental property is a business. And I want you to extract as many write-offs as you can. And what happens is those write-offs, including depreciation, the big one, they generate a loss on paper, even though you're building wealth and you're getting cash flow. Okay, now the IRS is gonna put you into one of three categories. This is gonna be the passive category or active or real estate professional. Now, each one of them comes with their own bag of tricks. Now, when you're a, a, a passive investor, you can only deduct these passive losses against passive gains. I don't want any of my clients over here. I want them to at least check the box active, where you can deduct up to 25 grand of losses up to the point where you make 150 grand AGI. And this is where a lot of people say, well, I'm making too much money. I don't get the write-offs. Oh, you'll get them. They go into a passive loss carry forward bucket. 
Now, if you're in the third category, the real estate professional, you can deduct all these losses every year, no bucket, no carry forward. They just come over here and you can write them off against your W-2, your spouse's W-2, other income, if one of you qualify as the real estate professional. I've got other videos on that in my YouTube channel and big, long, awesome videos in my library. Check them out. But let's... Folks, I'm telling you, this is just common sense stuff. So as much of a bombshell as everyone wants this to be, this is tax planning 101. If you want to reduce your taxes, you do <laughs> get into rental real estate, buy and hold real estate. Don't flip properties, buy and hold them, depreciate them. And uh, this is pretty common sense stuff. So God bless, good luck, like and subscribe if you want more uh, good conservative content.